Quiero dar gracias a JP Martínez del podcast de Romanos 1.16 que me trajo, a, él publicó esto y me trajo la atención de lo que el personaje que vamos a ver, Rod Sanders, está hablando con respecto a John MacArthur. Sanders ha sido uno de los que ha descubierto lo hipócrita, lo mentiroso, todas las cosas que se inventan, tanto eh, Ratchet, eh, también eh, Justin Peters, Joe MacArthur y muchos otros en este movimiento de la mal llamada sana doctrina. Una de las cosas que me llama la atención es de que Joe MacArthur dice una mentira con respecto al libro de Joe Austin que él va a estar hablando. Y me acuerdo que años atrás hizo lo mismo con este libro, The Day the Revolution Began the Anti Right, donde él dijo, después de condenarlo como hereje, dijo que en este libro no estaba la sustitución penal. Y estaba la sustitución penal. Con, ya son dos libros donde John MacArthur culpa a los autores de no decir algo. En el caso de Justin, de mencionar a Cristo. Y en el caso de Wright, no mencionar sustitución penal. Y es encontrado que está mintiendo. Así que yo les invito a que vean este video. Eh, Sanders ha hecho un excelente trabajo. Tiene años de estar haciendo esto. Ha descubierto cómo todo este, de todas estas personas mienten, tuercen, no citan exactamente las fuentes, siguen ideas, siguen historias y están engañando al pueblo de Dios. Así que yo les recomiendo, si pueden ver los videos de él y pongan abajo para poder que les traduzca el español, van a ser muy bendecidos y se van a, a liberar de ese evangelio legalista de Joe MacArthur y la gente como él. So yeah, I see lots of room for improvement in the guy, but at the same time, Joel Osteen has a way of encouraging people that is beyond anything you'll ever see in the reformed world. He talks about things that people face in the real world, marital problems, addictions, depression, career struggles, finances, relationships, sickness, etc. People come to his church or watch his broadcasts desperate to find a reason to go on, and instead of getting a heap and helping of condemnation via the doctrine of total depravity, he gives them a taste of the love, the mercy, and the goodness of God. In this clip, Johnny Mac says that Jesus is just a footnote that Osteen uses to satisfy his critics. Jesus Christ is a footnote to satisfy his critics thrown in at the end to get people off his back. Seriously? You think Joel only talks about Jesus to satisfy you, Johnny Mac? I can assure you that Joel Osteen doesn't give a rat's patootie what you or your ilk think of him. He's too busy ministering life to people. In the next clip, he says that if you believe what Joel Osteen said in his book, you're going to hell. In his book, Your Best Life Now, And by the way, I want to hasten to say, he's absolutely right. If you believe in what he says in that book, this will be your best life. <laughs> It'll be a whole lot better than the next one. <laughs> Now, I don't know if he really meant that or if he was just going for a cheap laugh. But it's just nonsense to suggest that people will go to hell because they have the wrong theological position on success and financial prosperity. People go to hell for rejecting Jesus, John, not for disagreeing with you on a non-essential doctrinal matter. In the next clip, he says that in this life, we're not promised health and wealth, we're promised suffering instead. Our Lord has promised to those who know Him and love Him in this life, trouble, persecution, rejection, difficulty, trials, temptation, pain, suffering, sorrow, sickness, and even physical death. Whoa, wait a minute. I I'm okay with persecution and rejection, trials, temptations, and hardship, but sickness? Where in the Bible did Jesus promise his followers sickness? That would be nowhere. Jesus said that if we've seen him, we've seen the Father, and he never turned anybody down who came to him for healing. 
He never made anybody sick either. In fact, he warned people to sin no more lest a worse thing come upon you. He was always working against sickness. John MacArthur has a reputation of being a great teacher and defender of the Word of God, but here he is clearly adding to the Bible. After that, he says that there's no mention of Christ in that book. Osteen says, God wants this to be the best time of your life. Happy, successful, fulfilled individuals have learned how to live their best life now. As you put the principles found in these pages to work today, you will begin living your best life now. If that doesn't sound like Satan, I don't know what does. That's what the devil would say. This is your best life now. Does that sound like eat, drink, and what? Be merry. This is it. By the way, there's no mention of Christ in that book. Well, I just happen to have a copy of the book, and here's what Joel Osteen actually said. On So you can see from these quotes that Joel Osteen did, in fact, mention Jesus or Christ in his book several times. And don't give me any of this, well, he didn't present the real Jesus stuff. John MacArthur didn't say that he doesn't agree with what Joel Osteen said about Christ. He said Joel Osteen didn't mention Christ once in the book, and that was patently false. So it looks like Johnny Mac got some explaining to do. He's either a lousy researcher or he's a liar. I can't imagine that he was lying about this because it's so easy to fact check what he said. I think he probably just repeated something that he heard from somebody else without bothering to verify it. He probably assumed that it was true because of his utter contempt for Joel Osteen. That's what can happen when the truth isn't as important to you as your narrative. Ya lo vieron, ahí pueden apreciar de que John MacArthur habla, dice muchas cosas sin hacer el, uh, el estudio apropiado, la investigación apropiada para llegar a condenar a una persona. En este caso, Joel Austin. Yo no estoy de acuerdo con todo lo que Joel Austin dice, pero sí en el mundo cristiano, en, el, en la esfera cristiana, Joel Austin ha tenido una, eh, un efecto positivo mucho mayor que yo MacArthur. Y esto es lo tremendo. Que en Éfeso, en el Apocalipsis, vemos que ellos tenían un gran celo por la doctrina. Habían probado a los apóstoles, detestaban a los nicolaitas, pero tenían una cosa que el Señor les reprocha, que han olvidado su primer amor. Esto es lo que le ha pasado a muchos de estos ministerios que se creen que son de sana doctrina, que se creen los guardianes de la doctrina, pero han olvidado el primer amor. Primero Dios, que, es, que, que John MacArthur, antes que se vaya con el Señor, como muchos otros, también regresen a ese primer amor y no se pierdan. Si usted le ha gustado lo que ha visto en este video, por favor déjeme un like, suscríbase a este canal, Comparte este video porque hay mucha gente que necesita ver que los está engañando. Y también vea las notas del video donde puede ver dónde encontrarme, como también cómo apoyarme por medio de PayPal o Patreon o haciéndose parte, miembro de este canal. Que Dios le bendiga y hasta la próxima.